I am Dr. Ajay Kashyap and I am going to address today a very common question that people have. How do you choose your plastic surgeon or a surgeon or a physician for a cosmetic procedure? The most common way people try to find a suitable plastic surgeon or aesthetic surgeon or a dermatologist or cosmetic dermatologist is by going onto the net. Now do you choose the person who's got the most presence on the net? one who promotes himself or herself most aggressively, one who has pictures uh, on the net before and after pictures or do you look at their qualifications or call them and ask them exactly what have you been doing and what your experience is and so on and so forth. I think the best way to proceed is first going on the net probably is the best way to first at least find out who the surgeons in your area are. Uh, and once you found out those surgeons I would give you a little checklist that you can have and you can uh, figure out if those surgeons match um, your needs uh, and the needs for the procedure. The first question you need to ask is, on the net, is the surgeon honest about his or her credentials? Are they actually board certified in the US, in the UK or in India or wherever they are practicing or wherever they have been practicing before? Now that it is an easy way to check uh, the US uh, qualifications, you can go on American Board of Medical Specialties and see what they are uh, certified in. In India, you can see people who have MCH degrees and you can ask them to show their MCH degree, which is the qualification in plastic surgery, basic qualification in plastic surgery. Uh, or in dermatology, you can see their MD in dermatology. Similarly, in uh, UK, you can find out if they have, uh, uh, if they're a fellow of the Royal uh, College of Surgeons, of plastic surgeons actually, and what associations they belong to. There are lots of associations in the US, including the, the biggest association, uh, American Society of Plastic Surgeons, where surgeons from all over the world can become members, provided they meet certain criteria. So you have to look at the fellowships, uh, you have to look at their memberships, you have to look at their qualifications and confirm them. Make sure they are being honest about it. Look at the pictures, if they have before and after pictures, make sure they are not modified. Zoom them in, make sure they have not uh, photoshopped the pictures. Uh, a lot of time it's easy to see if the silhouette has been photoshopped, if there have been other modifications made in the skin texture and so on and so forth. Uh, the next would be actually once you've figured out, you've kind of shortlisted the surgeons, you can give them a call and find out A, how much experience they have, overall experience, and B, how much experience they have in the particular procedure that you're looking for. One should not shop around and see the cheapest surgeon or the most expensive surgeon. Neither of those two conditions means uh, uh, credibility or means uh, expertise in the procedure you are looking for. So my request would be not to look at the price as, as being one of the first criteria. Just make sure you get the right physician or surgeon for your needs. Once you've made a plan to meet the surgeon, call the office and uh, make an appointment. Uh, the, most, of the, most of the surgeons and physicians charge a consultation fee. Some would do a free consultation. Uh, that is obviously you get a little bit more business. Once you go to the doctor's office, make sure you look at the office, see the ambience, see the staff. And once you interact with the staff, you will have some idea as to what the basic philosophy of the office is. If you like it, if they're respectful, if they kind of, you, you feel that that's a place you want to have more association with, then you go ahead and talk to the surgeon or the physician. Ask them about their experience again. Ask them if they've had problems with the patients. Ask them what their complication and reoperation rate are. Then you see some before and after pictures. Morphing for uh, some of the procedures like uh, rhinoplasty is a good idea, but do understand that morphing does not mean you're going to get that result. Uh, I often do 3D pictures for rhinoplasty and I do tell everyone that anyone who's experienced with a computer can do a nice rhinoplasty on the screen. Doing it actually is a different matter. So ask them their experience, how many, for example, if you go for rhinoplasty or if you go for body contouring, ask them how many do they do in a month or how many do they, in one, do, they do in one year? And in their lifetime, how many years have they practiced and how many have they done? Do they keep up with the new CMEs and the new trends in the, in the procedure? Uh, do not get impressed by new, brand, brand new lasers or new equipment. Usually, a lot of the equipments have a limited life, half life. You know, they'll come and they'll stay for a while and they'll go away. But be sure if you're using a new technique or a new procedure that you check the procedure with your surgeon or physician 
and check it on the net as well. Study as much as you can, if you, especially if it's a non-standard procedure. Now, if you have a problem that is unique, then you have to go to a surgeon who has a vast experience. If, the, if, the, if, if your problem is a common, like if you need liposuction, and there's a young surgeon who does a lot of liposuction, that may be the person you may want to go to. If you have a very complex issue, if you have major procedure like a facial rejuvenation with rhinoplast with a facelift and so on and so forth, you want to go with to someone who has a lot of experience with that procedure itself, and oftentimes a more mature uh, surgeon uh, is better for that purpose. Now, age itself does not mean much, but experience means a lot in aesthetic and plastic surgery. Lastly, you should talk to the surgeon and think and talk to him and kind of discuss with him his ideas about aesthetics. And if his ideas of aesthetics match yours, and he likes you and you like him, because it's important that the surgeon wants to do as good as he can for you, and you like the surgeon himself or herself, uh, then you may want to, you may decide to go ahead with the procedure. Oftentimes, it's a good idea to take a second opinion and see at other ambiences. But please do not be impressed by people who are not truthful, people who show more than they can deliver, people who promise the sky um, or the earth. Um, but main thing is you should understand that the surgeon you are with is someone you would like to be with for a few months or years because the follow-up for most things takes about one year. And most surgeons would offer a little bit of correction and you should ask them, you know, what's their philosophy, what's their policy regarding uh, re-operation surgeries, how often they do it, and what are the charges for re-operation surgery. So once you're comfortable with all that, by all means, go ahead and get, get your procedure done and, you'll, and good luck to you.